podcast only on Fox 47 News at 10. Well, nothing like the first day of fall, and it was a cool one for that. Yeah, it was about 15 degrees yeah. cooler than what we usually see this time of year. Let's take a look at some temperatures across the map. Man, it was cold. 60 in Bay City, 55 in Port Huron, 59 in Kalamazoo. You were lucky to see 60 today, and in fact, no one in mid-Michigan saw 64 highs. Take a look all the way up in Marquette. 48 degrees for the first day of fall. So feeling pretty cool, more like the end of October as opposed to the end of September. But don't worry, we've got some warmer temperatures coming our way. Today we made it to just 54 in Lansing, and that's because we had so much cloud cover, it didn't really give us a chance to warm up. But notice that the cloud cover is really dispersing. We don't expect it to be here by tomorrow morning. We're looking at clear skies tomorrow a.m., and that'll help our temperatures first drop all the way to the 30s once we get to tomorrow morning. Look at where we're already sitting, 45 in Lansing, 43 in Mason, and 45 in Jackson. So you can tell we've cooled down quite a bit. Still hanging on to the 50s in Ionia and Hastings where there's just a little more cloud cover. But all of us will be looking forward to clear skies tomorrow. 6 a.m. temperatures are at 41 degrees and then 9 a.m. We're at 40, and it wouldn't be surprising to see a lot of us in the 30s for tomorrow. Maybe even a little patchy frost is possible. So just be aware you might be scraping some windows tomorrow on your way to work. And once we get to the afternoon, not so bad. The sunshine comes back. That's going to help us heat up a lot more than what we did today. We will be in the mid-60s tomorrow. And temperatures are warming even more than that. Tomorrow is just day one, and by the end of the week, it's going to feel pretty warm again. 48-hour future track, though, shows high pressure is building on in. That is what's helping us clear out right now, and that's going to help us stay nice and dry for the next 48 hours and even past that. High pressure still around tomorrow morning. Sunshine for us all day long, maybe just a few clouds here and there. And then look at this. The end of the day, clear again. That means we have a cold night setting up from Monday night into Tuesday. Once we get into Tuesday, look at this. We've got well off to our west, some uh, cloud cover, and that's moving on in. I don't think we'll see that on Tuesday. In fact, Tuesday night looks to be dry as well. Once we do see that cloud cover, we'll have a dry frontal passage, but it's not going to affect our temperatures. Look at this, 65 on Monday, and then we're climbing all the way to the 70s by Wednesday. Thursday, above average for this time of year, and once we get to Friday, it's going to feel pretty warm, 77 degrees. We're typically right around 70 for our highs, so we've got some nice weather to look forward to. A lot of sunshine as well, starting tomorrow. Tonight, we're looking to be clear and cold, 39 degrees. Very light winds, perfect for the patchy frost setup. And tomorrow, 65 degrees. It's going to feel warmer than today, certainly, and it'll be a lot nicer as well with all the sunshine. And look at how long the sun continues. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That's five days in a row with lots of sunshine. Unfortunately, they happen to fall during the work week, but if you can, take advantage of that time after work because these are going to be some gorgeous days. In the 70s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Even into the weekend, we're still hanging on to the 70s. Saturday night into Sunday. Looks like we could have some showers. We've got a cold front passing through. That's going to push us to seasonable temp temperatures by Sunday, right around 70 degrees. But it looks like right now we've got a very dry week ahead of us. A nice first week of fall. By the end of it, though, it's not going to feel like yeah. fall so much anymore. A nice work week and then a rainy weekend. So watch out yeah. for that one. Well, look forward to the sunshine first, right? That's right. Think positive. All right, thanks, Laura. Stay with us. We've got more news right after this.